by for Notts County v Grimsby Town at Meadow Lane. Only a short distance from the city ground, Nottingham Forest. We will have some streaming. The match has only just kicked off. Hopefully we can get a game as good as Peterborough v Swindon. Just having a few technical difficulties again, no stream found. Oh, come on. Don't want that. We have the game now. Chased down by Alex Rodman playing on the Knox County right. From a Grimsby Town player. Player that uh, John Sheridan knows from his time with Newport County. <laughs> Duffy had a firm header away for Knox County. Newport and we're live, and now. the game is live. Player in the Knox County lineup today, and Michael O'Connor, who skippers the side. Not a full stadium, the capacity at Medellin is 20,000. Richard Duffy, 31 years of age now. I think we might have just got oh, go for 5,000. And uh, taken cleanly enough by Adam Collin, although the conditions will make life difficult for the goalkeepers today. And that was Grimsby on the attack. And one by Pearson, helped further on its way by Summerfield. And uh, Abora is fouled by the Grimsby That'll be a free kick to Nuss County. Just the side of the road half. This week. A clash of heads, really. Yeah, it was a on loan kick. last season, so at least it's come a bit further south. Take off for Notts to take an early lead. North. And they have a good 3-1 win at Crowley Town. And then Gooty beat Steve by 5-2 on back on the day. Saturday. And nothing on board. Still with Doss County. Ooh, can they get a good ball in? Switch chance. Hello, screaming. Posted high, looking for Stead, who gets the opportunity to control it and get the shot off. Next week, he was under pressure from Ben Davis. Shot. It just about held him at bay. Just a little warning, perhaps, oh, for Grimsby. Probably weak shot spot at the keeper. It's a huge kick, and it's carried all the way through to Adam Collin. Lewis Lang now in his uh, second spell with Notts County. On well, the Nottingham Forest player, incidentally, so uh, used to playing in these parts, just across the way there, on the banks of the Trent. And Nikio managing to clear, under some pressure though. Chambers. Back it comes to Davis. Chance here for Screams to the stream start. Oh, it's through. It's Chambers. And it's over the bar. Wow, what an effort that was. Chambers was going to score a light ball goal then. Lovely little up Does play. Really well. Puts it back on his right foot. Nice turn. When he fires, he shoots it over the bar. Over the bar. That's corner to Grimsby. Five red shirts in the Notts County penalty area. Grimsby playing in the away red as Notts County are playing in the stripes. 
And at the near post, it'll drop Famous into Chambers Black again. Wally. He'll curl one again. Yes. And this time, hard. an easy save for Adam Collin. Screaming a bit chippy at the moment. Couple of sights at goal now for Ashley Chambers. Oh, oh, it's a good ball, but he'll... No, flag on no he's not offside. Oh, he's winning the ball. Natalie Aspinall had a good look. Hello to the three when watchers. The flag, much to Bogle's the female frustration. The line, oh, he's a female. Tangling with Lewis Lang and holding him off. Bogle just to be offside. He has a look across the line. It has to be a female a line, line up. It's lines to Paul Hershey yesterday stand. about Omar Bogle. He says on his day he can be magnificent, but uh, consistency will be key. Back with the key part. Consistency within his game. And he's going to boot all the way up the field. Dowling rising here with Stead. Spins away. The Grimsby throw. The Grimsby fans, incidentally, are right where Ben Davis is taking this throw from. They brought good support there. Over two thousand of them. Grimsby. That is a weird good of one support. At Meadow Lane today. Very well supported team, Grimsby Town. Here's Tutton, punching challenge from Duffy. Brought in this summer, he actually went to Eastleigh first in the conference, Richard Duffy. He was only there for a month. And then Notts County came calling. And the lure of the Football League was obviously impossible to turn down. And the ball is in the Goots behalf, Notts County with the throw in. Sorry, that's Goots Town throw in the lower half. Throw, finding Bogle. And the stream has stopped again. It's a free kick for Grimsby. He's uh, curtailed his run unfairly. Back in the side today, Jonathan Forbes. It's a little really tap. Show his true value to this team. In the back. Oh, another the chance next. today by John so, Sheridan. It's a chance it for Boone to do the streak. It's not too far away. It's a good chance. Can they score? Can they make it 1 0? Plenty of options here on this set piece. Bit of a conflab going on, but it uh, looks as though it will be Bogle who's lining this free kick up. He's got a beauty last week actually against Stevenage. Can he score another one? Will we see it? Pot. No, we won't. The stream of game went on us. And now Jonathan Thorpe can stretch those legs. But, uh, Good tracking back from Tutton to slow down the momentum there for Notts County. Here comes County. Campbell, pint-sized figure, playing an attack for the Magpies today. O'Connor. Poor ball. There's a handball in there from Bogle. Handball from Bogle, so for kick to Notts County. It was a poor pass. We really have to handball it. That's a poor that means he can bring it forward. Bogle. I'll let Andrew looking to lift it over the top for Tutton. Good chances at either end now for these two. Still no goals with 20 minutes gone, just over. O'Connor. Well, the game is working so far, so good. good and it's not count on the, the attack with the ball in the middle. Two in the middle ball. of the park. Bob brought up. Shrewsbury in the summer from a crew player. Fit to be a free kick. Rodman goes down under the challenge of Danny Andrew. Just a tangle of legs, really, wasn't it? By the way, Grimsby Town 
only chance is You know, we only seen when we're fishing, they do have another chance. Starting, we only pee on your fish. A very famous chant that gives me chant at the away fans. What's a good ball play here? Now Chambers. Of course, you all know Notts County are the oldest club in the Football League, formed in 1962. But if Sheffield formed in 1850, or Clay Wonders down in Kent near Sitka, formed in 1855, where they joined the Football League, then of course Notts County wouldn't be the oldest club in the Football League. And if Notts County drop out, Lee. I think it goes to Stoke City. Well by John Stead. Person sticking with him and making life difficult. The ball is kicked out for a hurry. Seems to be relishing the challenge of uh, playing in the Football League, Sean Pearson. Won uh, just about everything back there so far, especially in the air. He's been quite dominant. In the first 23 minutes or so. Throwing its county. So level famous. But a space through the left of strikes. That's a good shot, a good side. Not County close to scoring. But he was up to the task. Back with not County. So Connor juggling with it. And chasing it down. And Pearson. And Goomsby clearly long that all could have been a counter attack for Goomsby. It's a foot kick to Notts County. Notts County chip it in. And John Stead's offside. Wilson on this near side was banging line with it. John Stead played in the Premier League. Sheffield United. Are growing more and more into the game. I oh, still remember his first goal. The goal in 2003. Huddersfield 2 0 win at Huddersfield Stanley. Has come to the edge of his technical area, the Grimsby manager, to get some instructions onto his players. And he's called he over Sean Pearson, so he's obviously inflicted. feeling a little concern with the way that oh, Notts County have been able to get the his team in recent minutes. Just having to reorganise. John Stead, a bit of a journeyman. Very animated down there at the moment, Paul Hurst, as he... Uh, and there's been an injury the bench, the and the very long down. chat with Sean Pearson. Former defender in his time. Terrific servant for Rotherham United, Paul Hurst. Well over 400 games. Really That's saw his games. career under Ronnie Moore. And they had an incredible rise to the championship. And uh, John Sheridan, of course, loved at Leeds, revered at Sheffield Wednesday. Played the Nottingham Forest. Rumbelow's Cup final. Manager of Old Wherever Mathletic. Wherever he goes by Sheffield Wednesday fans. Spends a lot of his time in the steel city store as John. Cleaner. Assisted these days by Mark Crossley, who was former goalkeeping coach at Chesterfield and played just across the way with Notts Forest. Also with a long spell at Manchester United. Uh, previously worked together at Chesterfield. There's Mark Crossley. Not a bad keeper in his time. Not the greatest keeper, but let's face it. Just Made Conley. a few clangers in his time. Andrew. Gowling. All the so way back to for Wales. So two very good saves so far in this match. Long kick. There's a more even contest now, but... Sean Tutton with that miss earlier on for Grimsby really would have settled them down. It does tally with what Paul Hurst has said this week. They've carved out so many chances but just need to be more clinical in front of goal. And they've created two or three openings in this match. Not out his last trip in the top fight within the 92-91 season. At the end of the third division, they were relegated with Luton Town and West Ham. Of course, West Ham were the only team that could return to the three. They had come, of course, playing in the Premier League at the Olympic Stadium. 
Totally Luke Town in the same division as Fox County in the league. Well, that's enough for Nigel Miller, the referee. And he has escaped with a ticking off this time. Here is Dickinson swings it in looking for Stead, who's always in the middle, looking to pounce on anything that comes his way. John Stead's always good for a goal. Free kick Grimsby. Seems like he's been around forever, John Stead. He'll still be running that chance through in his mind, won't he, Sean Totten? And this is Grimsby debut. Grimsby beat Forest Green Rovers in the in the National League playoffs that turned into the Football League. They've been in the goals this season. Grimsby Town. Want to see goals? You need to follow them. Having beaten Stevenage five to last both teams have a good chance of promotion to League One this week. season. In the uh, Football League trophy. Both teams would look would love to have back-to-back so -back victories, but only one games, team today can achieve it. Throw in, and that'll be another no. no. Headed down, not going to reach the anybody. Headed away. Leaves it for Ben Davis to take. He was at Portsmouth last season. Under Paul Cook. Long throw. Here is Tutton. And Tutton turn though he can't. Davis. Jonathan Fort is with him. No, he's Davis not there. going anywhere. But I think he's won the free kick. The female linesman is flagging. He's the one that's complaining to Natalie Aspinall on that far touch line. Um, I don't think that was a free kick. A big move to Blackburn and never really happened for him. He's found himself Just like the Wimsey player fell down. The divisions, Jonathan thought, but on his day, one a cheap free kick. Be a real nuisance, a real threat. Just by the linesman. Pace. We've not seen any real evidence of it. Today and they get this ball in the box on the right. Here goes, Grimsby now, uh, got a chance to take the lead, a good free kick needed, it's in a good position. On the right Davis side. Over this set piece. Plenty of red Here goes to Davis, he puts the Can ball in, and that comes to nothing. Can they keep it in? It. No, they can't, but they win the throw in regardless. Just Dominic Vose. Puts the ball back Marking in, ball and, and that is straight at the keeper. Be. Poor effort, poor. We've got a couple of goals so far since arriving on loan from Scunthorpe. Dominic Foes. And wide on the left. Tootal struggling to keep it in play. Throwing to Goon's beat in their own half. He throws it long. Oh, they kept it in play. Tried to control it, a bit down. done scrappy. Comley. They've got the ball under control and they will whip it on the, the other side the to the ben right. Davis. Here goes Davis. Chambers takes over. Oh, it's not a bad ball played in, it's going to be hard to make anything to happen there. Tries to run the keeper in. down, ooh, he took the keeper down. Oh, a bit of a goalkeeper in fairness to Adam Collin, he made absolutely nothing of it. And here go Knox oh, County. Rodman. Half an hour played, we got the streaming working finally. Connor again, fired into the chest of John Stead. Bogle again rising up above Lewis Lang and chased down here by Tutton. Flag goes up. Unlucky Tutton offside. Busy afternoon so far, Natalie Aspinall. Called upon again. Natalie Asplund. Asplund. Whatever that last name is. She's the female the linesman. Sean Tutton. As she looks out with breath. This is where Chambers came sliding in, nowhere near the ball. I'm not sure he did catch Adam Collin, I think uh, there's one for the cameras there. Yeah, it's not a foul on the goalkeeper. Just threw in a stumble. So Collins kicks it out to Knox County. It's a 
long kick. Will it? No. The we must be easily bringing the ball out. Now, can they create an attack from this clear? Here goes Bogle. He's still going. He's still going. And he wins a corner. Good run indeed. Unable to finish it, but he won a corner. Brilliant running from Bogle. Take, takes on one defender, takes on two. It was the two he couldn't get the ball past. So it's a corner, another chance for Grimsby. Ball swung in. It's a goal, Grimsby, 1 0 up. A headed goal by number five. Grimsby lead! They sure do. Who is the goal scorer? We will find out. A good header. And those Grimsby fans who have travelled a long way are more than delighted to take the lead. Sean Pearson. And it's Sean Pearson with a fantastic header. Question on the Notts County play on the line. Goes through his legs. Maybe close your legs on the line. It's a good header. We'll give it as a really strong header. It's a really good strong header from, header from Pearson. Pearson. Maybe Notts County could have done Notts better nil, with the defending on the line. Those Grimsby fans are in, in a really good, good voice. That's what football's all about. Long kick now from Knox County. Looking for an equaliser straight away, but they won't find it with that bowl. And Grimsby will get a free John kick. From point of view, he'll be furious with that. In fact, they had a man on the, on the line. I think it was Carl Dickinson. He saw the ball trickle through his legs. Looks calm enough on the outside, but uh, he will be fuming on the inside. The fact that Pearson A was able to get to that ball as freely as he did. But they did have enough defenders between Pearson and the goal to prevent that from going in. And it trickled through the legs of Dickinson. Knox County. Having to come from behind again, which they have done in their last Long two kick from games, Collins. Will it find anybody? No, it won't. Once more. Now looking dangerous Sloppy ball Brimby. play for Grimsby, but it's they're on the counter. The play the ball to the right. Oh, it's no, he's still got it. And, and it's just wide. Well, I say it's not been a bad game. Another scare for Knox County. Chambers makes a mess of it. Just wonder though whether Bowes. I think Chambers had a chance there to a play the bowl in. He actually did do. Should have should have played the bowl across. Oh, on the break, aren't they? They got some they got some pace in that team, Grimsby. No doubt about Sean it. Pearson. Sean Pearson with the opening oh, goal for Grimsby, a five header indeed. And uh, Notts County have got a free kick on the halfway line. Looking for the equaliser. No, it's further up. It's in the middle. Just in the it's middle now. Horror. What can what can Notts County do? For me, it's play the ball in, and that's a poor free kick, which Grimsby just clear with that line. Is this a chance for Grimsby? Can he nutmeg his man? He's, st oh, he's all on his own, he's all on his own. It's gone scrappy, is this a free kick? And that's into the stand, it's a free kick for Grimsby. Up against Dickinson. They're struggling to get numbers back. He did there. well there, Totten. Got past a few the plates. He was kind. Yeah, he was board. tripped. Yeah, Six it is a free kick. He was tripped. So Groomsby so have a chance to make it 2 0. Just outside the box in the, in the semicircle. The first game together that they've had. Or in the D, call it what you will. It's in the D. This is a good chance for 2 0 to Groomsby. In the D. One of several candidates to take it as well here. Davis, Vose, Bogle, Summerfield, they're all there. 
That's a lot of free kick takers. Vogel, Who's going to be the, uh, clinical? It looks like Vose is over and Bogle. No. Davis has taken a mean free kick or two in his time. Don't know. It's taking this free no kick. Range. It's going to be Bogle. Looks as though it may well He's be looking Bogle. at it. But well, Ben Davis is in a good the position there week. to curl it in. Can he come up with but it's Bogle. And it's wide. And I think that took a Rolled deflection. Has gone for a corner. So they got a corner from it. Not bad. Dominic Vose has gone over to take this. Terrific noise from the Grimsby fans. Ball's floated in and it's just it's over. It. Nobody watched him. A few arguments going on in the Notts yeah, County Yeah, Paul defending for Notts County. He should be sticking to him in lots of space. Difficult for Andrew being left-footed to try and direct that on target from there. Well, that was a good effort from Andrews. I'm lucky not, not to score. But again, the defending Andrews. very suspect from Knox County. Andrews left the ball on his him. own. Somebody should be there picking him up. I take it the National League is missing Grimsby Town. Not saying that Grimsby Town will return. Any time in the near oh, future. But that is an we'll a magnificent a support now, for League Two. Uh, they brought very, very good support there, and all to credit to Grimsby. Just a shame oh, it sounds like Notts County, the home team, haven't brought many fans in. Grimsby are making Meadow Lane a home from home. Crucial saves for him actually as well. And they are 1-0 up. Just under seven minutes to go to half time. It's been a good match. Good advert for League Two and the Football League in general. Long kick. Headed down. Still in the middle. Knox County looking. For something that's poor, he plays it on the left. The ball's put in. Don't think anyone's going to reach that. That's Picks not a good ball whatsoever. And that will just go into the stand from Campbell. Person's header out. It's bounced a little high for Adam Campbell. Has several loan spells during his time. Newcastle United got his uh, parents' wedding anniversary last week. He did score and dedicated it to them. Apparently his mum texts him before every game to wish him luck. It's not working so far. So far, to me, Grimsby have been the better team. That's a good bowl out on the right, but he's offside. She's absolutely right. Anthony Aspinall, was a good few yards offside. So far, so good. So there are positives to come out of this Maris. international weekend. Live for Football League and win. National League Not football. Lower League football. The person who got the goal, I think, has been terrific at the back. He's winning everything. Every time it goes up, he's behind it. it Hopefully see. we'll get perfect streaming for the Torquay Lincoln City game at 5.30. Hope you can join me for that. Five minutes of the first half. Gomstead, Rodman, Campbell round the corner. Oh, it's a good ball now for Notts County. You're out of the right ball. Floating in, nobody there. Why not? John, John Sheridan has to ask questions at half time because Grimsby now on the counter attack. And that will reach Collins in the Knox County goal. Down the other end, John Stead. And his cross certainly let him down because Jonathan Fort was waiting for it in the middle of the six yard box. No, he wasn't. John Stead, Rodman. He stood there like a statue, but another chance even not count. It's a good ball, should be. 
Oh, it's offside. Yeah, good side. But, uh, should at least offer some encouragement for Notts County. But McKeown sharply on his six yard box here. It's a good pass. Sprinting off it. Makes himself big, but the flag had already been raised. I'm not Jonathan sure that's Ford. offside, though. Three minutes to go in this half. It's been a switch because Fort is playing alongside John Stead now. And Campbell has gone out wide on the left. Out on the right. Now Ross Kelly got to bring it forward. Got to find a good Adam pass Campbell. from here. Abora. It's in the middle. They're playing Total. it now to the left. Stead. Tries to play the ball in, but Stead can't control Stead it. He's on the ground. Field. And Grimsby chip it upfield. Chambers, Totten tries to roll Carl Dickinson, he's looking for a foul as well, that's Kelly of the ball in the wrong half, can they get that equalised before half time which would change the team talk for John Sheridan, of course Paul Hurst will be a very happy man at half time, Knox County managed to keep it, Long kick. Yes, and again winning Nothing and Grimsby. Oh, look at which that should be the keepers. Collins and, the, the and Collins puts it out for a throw into Grimsby. John Sheridan not now. looking happy. With a scoreline like this, Paul Hurst. I'm up. Whatever Bogle. allocation Grimsby were given, they certainly have licensed. They filled it. Well, he has been a menace, actually. Omar Bogle. We just do not know what he's going to do Ooh. next. You see a great deal Take in a free that, kick away there, Bogle. No need to shove your man on. He's complaining. But, uh, he's got the tricks, he's got the skills, he's got the pace, certainly, Omar Bogle. A long, long kick. Can Roomsby make anything happen? No. It's over the top from Knox County. Back to the middle to Roomsby. Who's going to get here first? Uh, free kick has been given. <laughs> I'm going to go for a minute of injury time. Very aggressive player. Sean Tutton. Likes to make life incredibly difficult for defenders. Wants to play on the shoulder, looks to get in behind. And he did do in this first half. Didn't make the most of his opportunity. It's not been a bad half at all. Two, Two minutes, minutes of injury added time. On at the end of this first half. And we finally got the game up and running. A few hit cuts, a few technical yeah, difficulties. But we Omar got there Bogle. in the end. That's the main thing. Well, I wonder what he's thinking right now. There's a big job he's got on his hands here. To turn around a club that I'm sure John Sheridan may have some plight with the state season. with Knox County players, especially the over there defending. The amount of managers they had last term, three in all. They don't even come close to beating Watford. And the knees was in charge, then Jimmy Fullerton took over, Mark Cooper after that. I'm very sad to see Mark Cooper go, actually, but uh, John Sheridan... Plenty of experience. And he whacks that ball up. Ain't gonna reach nobody Listen, from there. Again, ball play. More than ready for their half time. Well, Cup of tea. Free kick to Knox County. Will be the last chance of the second half. Knox County to grab an equaliser. Just the put ball. the ball straight in the danger zone. Missed it and followed through. On Rodman. 
long way out. It is just put the ball in the danger area, get it in the penalty box, which is oh, uh, kind of done. Got his head to it. And, so no, it's headed out by Grinsby, headed back, back in. No headed no out. And I think Grinsby will clear it and we should go to the. No, I thought he was going to blow for half time. Rising for it with Dowling. Clearance completed by Davis, but given away to O'Connor. Now Jonathan Fort. Still with Knox County, Abora. sort of in the middle. John Stead. No, that ball's not going to go anywhere. It's out on the left. Easily defended. Goonsby win a Knox County. No, it's half time. Which will and half time John score here, Knox County nil, Grinsby Town 1, John Pearson with a and brilliant header. And still half time, just showing some scenes at the ground. One man with a plastic cod. Hello, this is Paul Walker at Meadow Lane with your 10-second warning to commentary restarting in 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5. 
Hello and welcome back to Meadow Lane. We're at half time. It is Notts County nil, Grimsby Town one. The second half about to restart. And I would say Grimsby good value for their lead in that first half. There is the goal scorer, Sean Pearson. His first ever Football League goal. A header from a set piece that uh, trickled actually through the legs of Carl Dickinson and into the net. He won't mind. Grimsby in search of their first away win of the season since returning to the Football League. Very impressive going forward. Here are the visitors in this game. Goal actually came at a time when Notts County were just building up ahead of steam. Oh, oh in the oh, next to second half. Notts right. County no nil. At the interval. So it's as you Grimsby work. Town won. Who's going to win? Are Grimsby going to win the match? Will it be not scouted? Dowling coming to win this one. For me, Both Grimsby goal. were the better side in the first half, but everything can change in the quality. second half. Oh, yeah. That's not the way to start it. Oh, oh, it's corner to it Knox County. He obviously knew what he was doing, but from up here, Gowling with the delivery. He was about to thunder that one into his own net. Terrific run, though, from Rodman, who teed up Campbell. And it comes in from Stead. Andrew slams well, it behind for the corner. Good clearance there. And he, he didn't nearly slice it into his own net. Corner to Notts County. Can they County find Stead? For a quick response Good ball in there and Stead on the head. No. It's not Stead's terrific. head. It was so Pearson's far. head who well, caused... Pearson. It was his head that gave Grimsby the lead in the first half. Good defending from Grimsby. Having to do the ball boy's job. No oh, ball boy. Extra leg I'll keep him fit. Long throw now from Notts County. Would it be? No, he hasn't taken it yet. Here he goes. It's long in the box. And it's hit it out by Kingsbury. Now Dominic Bowes chasing it down. Duffy. By Andrew. Sean Sutton loses it. Uh, no changes have been Steve made, so it's still Sheridan the same lineup as the first half. half Long ball played in that, which Gary nobody should be. And it is Andrew easily Pearson cleared by Grimsby for throwing to Notts County just by the halfway line. Because even at this early stage, just two minutes into the second half. Uh, certainly John Sheridan had plenty to think about in that first half. Yeah, plenty to say in the dressing room. To put right. Probably a lot of it unpleasant. Andrew. I know it's been chilling and played. Oh, there's a chance and it's wide. Nice Good chance for these. Uh, I think you could have done a bit better than that. Poor defending from Grimsby to lose the ball. The ball, went for the oh, that is poor, that is poor, not even on target, scuffed it, straight across the goal, Mr. Rodman. John Sheridan, I once saw him as when he was manager at Oldham at Priestfield. He's not the most step, pleasant of managers, let's just I say. I mean, does that mean you enjoy some of the unpleasantries that were said by some of the Gillingham supporters? No, it wasn't It wasn't me who said them things. But whatever was said, John Sheldon I had to go back. I'll continue that now. And, that, and, those, and those ones who said it were very quiet for the rest of the game. From a neutral perspective, it's been a really enjoyable game. It's a decent flow to it, decent pace to the game. John Sheldon, he's a very tough manager. Can often be. 
Oh, chance for Grimsby. Can they get hold of it? No. But they keep it in play. Can can he get the cross back out? Now it comes to cross well over it. Can they keep that in? They can. Are you going to get the next ball? No, Notts County with a chance to bring it forward. And now it's a throw in. Five thirty. It's Vanderama football. Talk United versus Lincoln City at Playmore, the home of Forty Towers. And Talk United. Oh, chance! Oh, is it deflection? Brighter start to the second half from Notts County. No quest for an yeah, it was a bad chance from Campbell. Good play from John Stead. Oh, Campbell. it's good defending. Pearson who threw himself at the ball. The ball is caught. This is having a really good match. Ooh, that was close. Who has failed to poke it in? Oh, I'll say Campbell looks a bit. Looks quite a lot like Neil Leather. Now, did that hit Summerfield last? No real complaints from Campbell. Oh, goal kick's been given. Not a good chance, though. Summerfield, either way, did enough. Paul Hurst have been a bit nervous as Knox County have made a very bright start to this second half, but have yet to find that all exclusive equaliser. And Davis. All booted in there by Davis. Is this a chance for Grimsley to make it too? Mm, not with a shot like that, it's not straight into the arms of Collins. Picked up an injury of some form here. Lewis Lang's on the ground. He's on all fours. What's wrong with him? Be able to tell from here. You can see uh, Lewis Lang going to ground there. Not sure. To, uh, and the flow of blood. He's got blood coming from his upper lip. Players are allowed to uh, get so long on the field in terms of getting treatment before they have to go off. I would have to say so for Pearson of Goosey Town. Looks like he's going to be man of the match. He's had an absolute sensational game for Grimsby. Nor has he scored the goal, but he's made some amazing defensive clearances. Threw himself in the way of Campbell to make sure the kid scored one nil. Ball comes over. And Pearson. Make sure he gets there first. He's a good header, good header indeed. Straight through the legs of the Knox County defender on the lock. Next time he'll keep his legs closed. Football League goal. Lewis Lang. Is Chris Lang going to be the first sub of the game? He's got his lip is bleeding. His lip looks a mess. Alan Smith. Bags of experience left out from the start today. Alan Smith still plays Leeds United and Man United, Newcastle United, also plays for the MK Dons. Of course, he did receive that horrific injury in the FA Cup when playing for Man United against Liverpool at Anfield. Something for Bogle to chase, but Colin. Oh, now, did he take that outside the box? 
No, he didn't. He kept it in. His foot was out of sight. Yeah, yeah, not the ball. And he kicks it long. And he ain't happy with that for some reason. And it's played back to the Grimsby goalkeeper who also boots it long. It's going to be a chance for Grimsby. No, it's going to be headed back to Collins who rolls it straight out. Oh, loft it down the pitch. Grimsby headed it away for a throw into Dex County just on the halfway line. Stanley Abora. And Michael O'Connor. There's Lewis Lack. Now. Long ball play down the right. Can he keep it in? Yes, he can. It's going to be hard to control, and that's a bounce of about three players. And he falls to Grimsby, and that'll go out for a throw into Knox County. And they were the second top scorers in the National League last season with 82 goals. Grimsby that's a lot of goals. They lost their top scorer from last season, Audrey Gamond, who left to join Hartlepool. 33 goals he got in all competitions. This is going to be a goal. It is 2-0 to Grimsby Town. Sloppy defending from Notts County. And Boggle makes it 2-0. Dreadful defending from Notts County. It wasn't even it wasn't even a good wasn't a great shot. It rolled at a snail's pace over the line. The throw in this play, Notts County lose the ball, he goes to Bogle and he just rolls it at a snail's pace into the back of the net. That was poor from Notts County. It's Notts County who set him up. Dreadful, dreadful from Notts County. Why is he passing back to his keeper in that position? Notts County only got themselves to blame for that goal. It can be done. Well over Notts. Get my maths correct here. 34 minutes to get that goal, get two goals back, or all three. Or can Grimsby push on and get more goals and get their biggest away win in the Football League for, for donkey's years? Grimsby should be playing with more relaxed style of football now. They've got the two goal cushion. And a lot of Grimsby fans are wearing old school Kevin Keegan afros. Here comes Tutton, he shoots and it's wide and that'll be a goal kick for Notts County. But he might just feel Sean Tutton that he can bag a goal today. Well, he's got the spectacular goal in him. Nice turn, but oh, right. that is well wide. Flew yeah, over the here, over the bar. A hat trick change for Notts County, and the Guernsey fans are bouncing. Here's the first of them, Aaron Collins, who's just joined on loan from Wolves, is on to replace. Adam Campbell. We only tripped to Notts County, he was in 2009, and Gillingham won that Stanley game, I think, 2 0, quite comfortably. The Notts County that still played that awful three lines on the shirt Today, record that they Oliver played that night. Painful, Smith, so painful. At that time, Notts County couldn't win a midnight game. Triple change for John Sheridan. A long time ago James before Notts County were bought out by mysterious well buyers. Sven Goran Eriksson came in as manager. He also grabbed hold of Sol Campbell. And it all went pear shaped for Notts County.
Long throw from Notts County, and the keeper grabs that with ease. McKeown having no problems. Yet to make a serious save in my book. has been played. Oh, oh that's Paul from Grimsley. Could this be 2-1? Brilliant from McHugh. It's another good challenge. Great goalkeeping from, Mc, from McKeown. He came off his line and did the business in class. Fair play to him. And, well, it's about to say Grimsby. We're going to take it away on the counter, but Knox County won it back, but it's backward. Grimsby on the halfway line. Has he lost his foot in the air? Oh, that's free kick to Grimsby. Well done by the keeper. Came out brave and then came out again. Initial sliding challenge. And he got away with it. And he comes the ball now. Would it be 3 0 to Grimsby? No, it's in the hands of Collins and he kicks it away. Chance for Knox County to attack. No. Booted up the field by Grimsby. Summerfield angling the ball out wide to Tutton. They got it on the left. Plays it back. Oh, he's lost his foot in. Oh, fair play. They've won the ball back from Pearson, the main man for Grimsby. Great tenacity from Bowes. How on earth is he kept it? He's surrounded by black and white shirts to start with. That's a nice passing here from Grimsby Town. I'm not surprised they're 2 0 up away from home. They've made Knox County their home ground. They've been on song for nearly 62 minutes. Now Knox County have the ball, can they make something happen? Oh, it's a lovely bit of football, but can he get the ball in the box? He can, and he heads it over the bar. Disappointing from Oliver. Really good play from Jonathan Fort, refusing to give this one up. Yeah, fourth done well there, beauty from skill. But when he puts the ball in, all Oliver can do is put it over the bar. Should be able to get that on target, really should have done. Disappointing from Knox County's point of view. It's been a good game, no doubt about it. We've had two games. Early on, it was, of course, Peterborough with two, Swindon two at London Road. Peterborough absolutely fan fascinating second half. And I'm going to tell you, this game has not disappointed whatsoever. And hopefully at 5.30 we can finish off with a hat-trick well of quality games. I do apologise for my end for the streaming. But I can't do anything about the streaming on the sites at Cricket Free or VIP Soccer. That is totally out of my control. And Grimsby have a free kick.
just out on the right. Oh, Bit of a wind blowing there. And it comes in and it goes to nobody and that will go out for a goal kick. Opportunity wasted there by Grimsby's Boggle or Bogle, whatever his name is. Should have done better with that free kick. I should have rephrased that. Bogle was not taking a free kick. He was near the near post. And he should have really run onto that. And maybe he could have scored his second of the game. Some beautiful football being played by Grimsby Town. And Ox County need to, find, need to find a way back in this game. 25 minutes to go. Oh, 2-1 would put the pressure on Grimsby. That's a poor ball, easily cleared. It's back with Knox County. Played out on the left. Can't turn him. Oh, he got it back. Oh, that is poor. And Grimsby will put that out for a throw-in. going to be a long throw now by Knox County here on the left side. It's thrown in, and again nobody there for Knox County. Ball played back in, Grimsby headed out. And here come Grimsby, it's been giving us a free kick to Knox County on the halfway line. Cutting can't believe it. So a free kick for Notts County just over the halfway line. And put it straight in. No, he played it short on the right. Oh, that's no good. Oh, Notts County seen a lot of the ball but not making anything happen. Ball swung over and... Oh well, the keeper's got it, no problem. And we've had some problems with the streaming again. No, it's all back, I think. We've lost the sound. And the sound's back. And McKeown clears it upfield. Room speed on the attack. Can they make something happen here for 3-0? Oh, can get the ball in, and Knox County can bring the ball Notts forward. It's not a bad ball from Andrews. On the right. Vos, back with the ball, plays it in. Oh, that's a poor pass. Noise coming from that side of the ground, the Jimmy Cyril stand. <laughs> and how many away fans have Grimsby bought? I think the Jimmy Cyril stand is 5,429. I would say then Grimsby must have bought at least 2,000 down. Grimsby had to make a sub. And that is good for League One. Well, that's good for League One, but we're in League Two. But that's superb for League Two. And it's a corner now for Grisby, which voice will take just where the away fans are. Ball comes flying in, it's headed out. Go on, shoot. No, he decides to pass it now, and that'll go out for a goal kick. Time running out for Knox County. Kind of going to try and get this ball on the pitch, and Grimsby are making a change. 
Revit number 16 is coming on. Who's going off? I do not know. Bogle gets buffeted there by Tuchel. Free kick to Knox County. Need to bring that ball forward with urgency. And he can't pick no one out. Ball cleared up field comfortably again. Back with Knox County. Yet to really create anything. There's the debutants, Aaron Collins. I think this will be the substitution. From Wolves. And we joined Wolves in January. Well, we know where well, we know he's coming on. And uh, Ashley Chambers is departing. Off goes Chambers. He's the Barrett. man making way for Barrett. He looks especially lively in the first half, Ashley Chambers. And now he looks absolutely shattered. And Number 16. Could he get to the scoreline? Throw in for Knox County, game ticking down. Ball put in the box, ball not good enough, and Makio will get that so easily, and he'll just kick it upfield. Which he does. And it's falling to Knox County, play it out on the right. I think that's going to go nowhere again for Knox County, but they win the throw in. Got to take it long. Just 19 minutes left to get at least back into this game. They need to find two goals. Long throwing, and here it comes. Launched in, and again, no, no urgency in that attack by Knox County. Nothing whatsoever. Very fruitless indeed in that final third by Knox County. Duffy. In the way of it. Away from well, they've got the ball not going anywhere, Knox County, with this attack. The ball now the ball's the played in, it's overplayed, and that will be a goal to kick to Grimsby. Still can't believe Knox County conceded the second goal from throwing in their own half. No, threw the ball back in, played it back straight straight to Bogle to score the second for Grimsby poor from Knox County. A total calamity. Up it goes from Collins all the way down the pitch, but that'll be headed away by Grimsby. And that's a throw in. Those Grimsby fans will be delighted they make the long journey to Nottingham this afternoon. Concern for Paul Hurst, a day to remember. Today, I wouldn't have thought not too much anyway. Paul Hurst is one business. happy manager. Very good but the same today. can't be said for John Sheridan. Some is this a chance? No, it's not. It. Gain nothing from not coming in the final third. Now Gumsy bring it up to a good bowl. He's not going to be able to break. Can he Tottenham take someone on? Middle. Yes, he on can. And it's cleared by Knox County. But it's back with Grimsby. Tutton is hobbling. And actually, he's gone down off the ball. I think Tutton's injured for Grimsby right, Town. He's down, down right. on the ground. Is he getting back up? Oh, he's holding his foot. How bad is it? 
Oh, is that just a bit of cramp? Do Grimsby need to make a second change? He potentially could come on in his he's place. hobbling off. Yeah, he's going off. He's, he's, a, he's put a good shift in, but his game is over. Some really good moments in this match. And he is going to go off here. And he's uh, flapping the fans, although yet to see anybody on the sidelines ready to replace him, although Paul Hurst has just handed in the slip of paper. But uh, Tutton obviously deciding for himself that he couldn't carry on. And, uh, look, rather well, he's managed to walk off. He'd really be bringing on, on the stretcher place. there and carrying him off. Don't want to make the injury any worse. Looks like he's a key player for Greensby, he's Tutton. Need to get some ice on that foot. Years of age now, Scott so here comes Vernon at number six. Oh, he's twisted. He's there, twisted his field. ankle. He knew straight away that he had to come Might off. not be that That's serious. Sure that he Should have come enough time to recover Nigel for the Miller, next game. To calm John but he is a vital player for Grimsby and they don't want to lose him for a few weeks to an injury. That that Referee having words with John Sheridan. That's what uh, Sheridan's got the issue with. It's a ticking off from Nigel Miller. Time against his team. Four Just under 40 minutes to go. And what's happened to the stream in the game? Come on, keep it steady for the next 40 minutes. Very good, got a touch to that. There he is again. Michael O'Connor for Notts County. Now Dickinson. It's a long ball from Notts County, though. He managed to keep hold of it. He's going absolutely nowhere. Just takes it away from Summerfield. Rodman, Tuchel. Ordell, decent football. Have they got something at the end of it? This is Collins. I mean, Notts County have played some decent football in the middle of the park. This final third, they're not doing anything. Oh, it's a good goal for Notts County. Notts County have finally scored a tap in. So Notts County have got a foot back in this game. And it's fought with his. Well, I don't think he knew nothing about it when that ball came in. Ball comes in. Crossed over. It's saved by the keeper and for kind of scores. Looks like it's come off Fultz foot and gun in. This is the reaction I'm getting that he didn't know nothing about it. Now he just taps it in. Turn. It's game on now. Is it Grimsby to hold on or Notts County to turn things around? And that'll go out. Is that a corner? And it's the man who scored the opening goal that's been punished. Sean Pearson, a judge to a foul for Dane Oliver. It's a penalty. Kind of turnaround. This is a quick one. Grimsby Town. The goal scorer Sean Might Pearson for me, the man of the match, has been penalised. Now, was that a penalty? I thought it was going to be a corner. In comes a cross, of the pull of his Oops, shirt. he had hold of his shirt. It was, Sean Pearson, actually. it was actually number he's three who had hold of his shirt. It's and it's... And he's oh, he's missed! <laughs> he's missed! Usually so reliable, Michael O'Connor. He wasn't reliable there, he's was he? The O'Connor has missed a chance to bring it level for Notts County. Right oh, it's a dire penalty. A what a chance oh dear. We have a twist there level. in this game, in just when you thought Notts County were going to equalise. They still and it was number three for Grimsby Town. 
who gave the penalty away with a shirt tug. Well, spotted by the referee. Now, will Notts County go on and get that equaliser? Will the Rimsey Town hold on for just under 11 minutes? Just as we wanted it. Ball needs to go in, it has, and that's poor, but they've headed it, and it's straight into the arms of the Grimsby keeper. Coming on strong now, Knox County. And the crowd are responding as well. Not, so, yeah, not a bad game, game, and the Knox County supporters have come alive. They're not the Actually, noisiest football fans in the league, I can tell you that. Just not nice here to make some noise. And at the other end, it's Omar Bogle driving into the box. Partially cleared by Lewis Lang. Bogle the does it stay down? Now back on his feet. All Don't know what happened there. I thought it was going to be a free kick to Gurinsby. Oh, you've got to have your eyes everywhere at the moment. Well, Grimsby were cruising, it seemed. Not so much now. And here comes the long throw. Number three, Andrews must have been so relieved when that penalty Close. went wide. He was the man that fought for tugging Knox County's shirt. That gave the penalty away. But Knox County were unable to capitalise on that. So still advantage Groomsby Town with nine minutes left. Ball on the edge of the area. He can't turn it. And Notts County should be able to clear it upfield, which they do. Some good play from Notts County. And can they... Oh, oh, he's still got it. He's in his own half. I'm sorry, he's in the penalty box. Oh, he couldn't turn. Oh, a, oh he's ricocheted at one of the Goofy Town players. Are they going to reach this Knox County? No, they're not. And the ball's cleared up field by Grimsby. Now those Grimsby fans would wish the referee would blow the final whistle, but they've got eight minutes to wait. And I would say five minutes of time to be added on for the two injuries. Ow. But they won't go anywhere, Grimsby head it away. It's in the middle of the park. Grimsby bang it up field. That's going to come straight. No, it's not going to come straight back at those. No, Grimsby couldn't do anything with it. It's getting a bit end to end. Beautiful football. Ball goes out to Lutz County for a throw in. Breathtaking stuff here at Meadow Lane. Just the way we like it. Exciting football. Once again, we're here to prove there's more to football in England than the Premier League. And this has been an absolute sensational game, and I think it's going to be a corner to Notts County. Rodman trying a fancy shot from outside the area. It ricochets away for a corner. Craig Disley is coming on, and Dominic Bowes is going off. Another substitution now for Grimsby Town. More than waste some time. Disley will come on. No voice looking like his game is done. He's looking injured. Here comes Des We're calling Denzel. See Denzel. I don't know if I've got that name correct. But here comes the corner anyway. Out on the left. Ball swung in. Is it going to be 2 2? No, it's going to be a goal kick.
just under six minutes to go. Slow down, he's saying, to his players. Oh, I can't wait for the third game, the final game of the day that I'll be doing. Then at Playmore in the National Times, League between Torquay and Lincoln City at 5.30 on the so dot. Now. Hopefully the streaming will be spot on. This is good stuff, good football. I would give this match 5 out of 5. Not in boring whatsoever, Nick. Oh, it's gone out of play. To keep it in play. And she's given the throw to Grimsby Town. This team has to dig in now. See this one out. I would say Paul Hurst was very Hurst relaxed at 2 0. Now he's showing a bit of nerves. John so Sheridan hoping that Notts Candy can at least get one goal back and get it back to 2-2. Two -two. This is a chance now for Grimsby out on the right. And has he won a corner? No, it's just a goal kick to Notts County. And if Bob leaves looked a bit gingerly there the way he ran 6,861 have turned up at Meadow Lane but how many of them are Grimsby fans? I would say just over 2,000 a fantastic support for a League 2 match back it comes to Colin that's what you call a true hardcore support. Now, all credit to Grimsby Town. Driven long, looking for Forts. Out of his reach. Forts won't get to that, and that will be a throw-in. Are in the last five minutes now. Oh, this has been a fantastic game of football. Very enjoyable indeed, as Davis takes. The throwing right down by the corner flag in his own half. He's going to launch it up there, the Grimsby captain. And Notts County have won it, but that's going to be hard to get anything out of that. And Grimsby will launch that. That's going to be played back to Collins in the Notts County goal. And he's going to launch it up eventually now. Is that going to reach anybody? No. It's in the danger zone, but nothing to worry about for Goonsby. They've cleared it back with Knox County in the middle. Ball played back in the box. There's a go. It's 2 2. Oliver has scored number 39. The equaliser. Another 2 2. Can't complain at all. Two games, eight goals, fantastic stuff. Lovely strike. Oh, it's a beauty of a goal. Lovely goal indeed. I think it's Oliver that plays the ball in. Beautiful, beautiful goal. And Grimsby Town have seen their 2-0 lead. Wiped out. Knox County 2. Grimsby Town 2. Lovely stuff. That's why I love football. Smile, John, if you want. How is this going to end? Another 2-2 two, okay. two, or are we going to have a winner? And it was Collins on the 88th minute. So there's still time, I'm sure it's going to be about four minutes to go. It's 4.47. Now, will any of these two teams be brave enough to try and go on and find a winner? I hope so. Keep it end to end. Got to feel for those Grimsy fans, but they're still singing away as they have been for the full 89 minutes oh could they win it here oh what a save what a save 
from the Keo. Great save indeed. What a header there. Yeah. Lovely header indeed, but a brilliant save. Thought it was 3 2 to Notts County, but it's a corner. I think Notts County have made the substitution. Well, the noise from the Notts County fans oh, the ball comes in Notts County supporters now making Lewis some noise the ball in play. Away from I don't Danny know who Andrew. that is and he hasn't got the shirt on his I mean the number on his shirt so well much injury time I'm gonna go five minutes seven minutes, seven minutes injury seven minutes. time Go, oh, we need for a grandstand finish here at Meadow Lane. It's been an extremely, extremely unbelievable game here in League Two. A couple of excellent saves in the first half. Able to share a smile with Jonathan Thorpe. Not so sure his manager will be smiling just now, Paul Hurst. Are we going to have a winner? An excellent game of football. Plenty of drama in it. Our match ratings would be five out of five, no question about it. This game has been oh, a pleasure to watch from start to finish. Six minutes to go. We're in injury time. Will it be one last twist to this tell? Will there be a winner? Is that a free, free kick to Grimsby? Grimsby were 2 0 up, but Notts County have pegged them back. Notts County will also be thinking what about that penalty they missed, which they were totally gifted. The throwing comes. Uh, nothing yet coming of this. No, that's kind of clear with that field. Not very, not good enough. Oh, and, drop for Bogle. oh, is it? No, straight at the keeper. What happened for him on that occasion? Oh, well, I'll just have over half an hour to get my breath back Pearson, for the next game. The and thank half. you for all those who have tuned in to me today. Thank you. To it's appreciated. Collins. Glad I was able to bring you two fantastic games. Hopefully, the final game will complete the hat trick. Are both teams settled for the draw. A point each, hopefully, not. Over just under five minutes now to go. Come on, both teams push for that winner. Keep the excitement going. County have oh, the deficit, miss a penalty, and then still find an equaliser. That'll be straight at and Collins. Oh, he's got to be careful, and he heads it out for a throw in. Chance for Grimsby, long throw needed. Can Grimsby retake the lead? Bogle. Over the cross, with the aid of a oh, hit the top of the bar. Got out for a corner, has it? Grimsby corner. Well, Here comes the corner on the left. Floats in. Are we going to have a third goal? No, it's. Oh, it's going out for another corner, this time on the right. Time ticking down. 94th minute. Still go either way. 
Good defending from Dickinson and then Lang. Because Corn is put in. Time. Did the referee blow his whistle? Well, oh, well he's done it for a goal kick goal. anyway. He's unsuccessful. Could we get a hat trick of 2 2 draws? Could Torquay and Lincoln be three in a row? Definitely see a few nails being bitten over there. And Grimsby end. Knox County gonna make one last ditch. No, it's cleared no, by Grimsby. As as now we're throwing just over the halfway line. Don't you lose. Oh, we've got a bit of technical difficulties on the streaming end for the football. Doesn't matter, we've lost the sound, I don't care, just keep today. us with the game. Wardell. Too much air on that. It feels like it is drifting towards a draw this match now. An absolutely superb game of football. What are we down to now? Just, uh, just oh, under Berlin. two minutes to play. It's been a very exciting game. And I think that will be a goal kick for Knox County. Got to be taken quick, Collins. No time to dwell on the ball. No time wasting. Come on, kick that ball. <laughs> no, he's given Scrimsy a chance to regroup. But the ball's kicked long and that won't go to anybody. Oh, is this the last chance on this? Can they got it on the right? Ball crossed in. Oh, it's. No, it's a free kick to Grimsby. I think Collins took too long to kick the ball out. Ooh, a little. No, that was accidental. Yeah, you know we do with the Panini football. We drop lower. We go lower to the non-league. To the national league. So hopefully our final game, which is going to be a hat-trick of, of sensational football this afternoon. And there you go, game over. 2-2. Right, I'm going to get my breath back, set everything up, and I'll be back for Torquay v Lincoln City in the Vendorama National League. And I hope you can join us for that. So, goodbye.